Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Charlemagne the God situation. A lot of folks have been wanting me to cover this, but I want to see how everything was going to play out this week. If you guys don't know, Star, a.k.a. Troy Terrain, he did an interview with this young woman. Her name is Jessica Reed. And when she was 15 years old, she went to a party that Charlemagne the God took her to. And basically, she stated that Charlemagne the God gave her and her friend alcohol and then, you know, they blacked out and she's stating that she was raped and she's stating that she was raped by Charlemagne. So Star did the video and basically the video was on his site. Then he received word from Charlemagne's attorney and he eventually deleted the video. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys what Star had to say. If you guys have not seen the full video, I'll post a link down below. You guys can check it out. Charlemagne's attorneys, they keep removing the video off of social media, but it's currently on my website. Go ahead and check this out. Let me uh, address a few things here with regards to this legal letter that came down from Charlemagne's legal team. This is just uh, a demand. Do I have to put the video back up? Do I? I'm not scared, never scared. The video was not about gossip, as they're trying to point out, but they contradict themselves in the letter because in the letter, let me just go right to it, Mr. Terrain, the true facts are in that in 2001, my client, Charlemagne, who was then 22 years of age, hosted a party to celebrate a family member having been awarded a full football scholarship at Penn State. Not 20 years of age, as he so stated during a 2013 interview that some of you keep sending to me. His legal team confirms he was 22 at the time. There's nothing messy here. It's all official documents. I wasn't gossiping. I wasn't talking about what other people were saying. This is a bad reach. This is a bad look from his legal team. They're shook. Scared to death, scared to look. All right, so you guys just saw what uh, Star had to say about the situation. So Charlemagne has talked about this in the past, but the problem is a lot of the things that he's saying have been conflicted. They've been kind of problematic, and they're not adding up, okay? In one interview where he's talking to DJ Academics, he's saying that he basically paid a crackhead to buy her liquor. It was, it was, it was the year 2000, 2000, 2001. I think I was like 20, I was 20 years old. My cousin had just graduated. See this, I always see this chick with my dude. So I bought, you know, I invited her to the party. See, she was at the party and shit. She got drunk, high, whatever, whatever. Something happened in the room with a couple of my dudes. I'm asking them, did they mess with the chick? You know, after the fact, after she pressed charges. And they was like, no. But they was like, yo, she's bugging. I remember the night of, they was like, yo, she's in here bugging out. She's kicking over the TV and she's trying to set shit on fire. I'm like, what the fuck? Because I had left. So the next morning, I'm here and she says she got raped. She got raped. So I go to the hood to ask what happened. They like, yeah, you know, um, you know, my cousin who had got the scholarship, yeah, he's in jail now. What's you mean he's in jail? He's in jail. They said he raped the girl. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I go down to the jailhouse. Talk to the detective myself. No, I ain't got no one for me. I just told the detective, like, I look, I take full responsibility for anything that ever happened that happened in the house last night. You gonna take take the case? No, but I told her, I said, as far as I know, because I asked around, did anybody fuck up? I'm like, yo, nobody got raped. Yada yada yada. They didn't even have my cousin in custody. My, my other cousins was fucking with me. Cause they was mad they didn't get invited to the party. Hating ass motherfuckers. So my cousin wasn't even in custody. So I went down to the, the jailhouse for nothing. So I'm like, yo, I take full responsibility for everything. You know, I bought the alcohol. They was like, well, you're not even of age to buy alcohol. And I'm like, well, how'd you get it? Well, I got a crackhead to get it for me. You know, whatever. She went down there coughing out, please. Yeah, you had to. they had to do shit. Damn. So two weeks later, they come and arrest me for criminal sexual conduct with a minor. So I had to get blood and hair follicles. Oh, oh you going down there to initially explain it? They ain't had nobody else to, to, to pin it on. So be Which makes no sense because the attorneys are clearly saying that Charlemagne the God was 22 years old at the time. Meaning that if he was 22 years old, he wouldn't have to pay a crackhead to go buy her liquor. He could just get her the liquor himself, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
Another thing that's kind of problematic is that people are finding old conversations of Charlemagne where he's talking about the situation with his um, Brilliant Idiots podcast host, Andrew Schultz. And while he's having that conversation, he's talking about putting Spanish fly in a girl's drink. And this entire conversation is just really creepy. I'm not feeling where this conversation is heading. Go ahead and check this out really quick. I remember a scenario in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I got this girl real drunk and... um. I fought, we just fought. that sentence sounds a little no, I fishy. I, I'm I not, got her drunk. I, now, I, I, I didn't just get her drunk. I remember going, I, I went to the sex store and got Spanish fly. Oh, so you raped her? Shut up. <laughs> Spanish fly. Why are you in, they why sell you it in the sex store. You, I, I'm telling the truth. They, they spell it in the Spanish store. I had to fucking, I had to fucking spend, yeah, They sell I mean, knives they sell in the, the sex store, store too. You could put that to a girl's throat yeah, and have sex, sex with her. It doesn't mean so it's legal. So I put the Spanish fly in the ENJ. We drinking the ENJ and shit. So in my mind, I don't know if this shit really worked, but I felt like I got horny as a motherfucker too. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. So, she took so, to you. so she was drunk and shit and we had sex and shit and like a lot of my boys was trying to come in the room and fuck her. I'm like, nah, chill out. I can't I'm not doing that. And I'm like, yeah. let you run a train on it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> right. So if it's so, just one on one, it ain't right. Yeah. So the next trains morning, are right. So the next morning she wakes up. The next morning she wakes up and um we talk about it. And she's like, What happened? Like, yo, we had sex. She said, okay, well, I'm glad it was you. Then a couple days later, she's like, yo, are you sure I only had sex with you? Because <laughs> one of my stupid-ass cousins was going around saying he fucked her, which he didn't. I, okay. I know for a fact he didn't. Okay. I was there the whole time. Yeah, yeah. He did not fuck her. Yeah. He looked at her naked, but he didn't fuck her, <laughs> right? So, 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 I'm telling her, no, me and you just had sex. Nobody else did nothing. So it just was weird that she was like, well, I'm just glad it was you. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. in my mind, I'm like, yo, you could have been in a real bad situation if it was another That's a motherfucker huge compliment, there. compliment, man. A girl just said, yo, <laughs> at least you raped me. I didn't rape her. <laughs> no, I did not rape said. her. I did not rape hey, her. If it was any of your cousins or friends who have been raped, but I you didn't rape her because me and her had every intention of having sex with each other. So then why would you put the Spanish fly? I was a freaky, I'm still a freaky motherfucker, but I was a really, I was, I've, listen, my Wait, whole- Wait, was she passed out while you fucked her? Nah, she wasn't like, she was like one of those drunks where <laughs> no, listen, no, she was one of those drunks where like she was one of those drunks where she was like oh like co she wasn't coherent but she was up you know when your girls is like when you're blacked out like that don't know what the fuck's going on type shit like she was really she was awake up. and she was into it she was wasted all right so you guys just heard that clip with him and Andrew Schultz. On top of that, other people have found old tweets that Charlemagne posted, and here goes one of the tweets. So Charlemagne says this on January 30th, 2011. He says, dudes ask me how to get out of a platonic friend zone. You don't. Just take the L and hope to sneak some when she's drunk. So Charlemagne has done and said a lot of problematic things, but the problem with this case is she wants the case reopened, okay? It's been about 17 years. She's saying that she was a child back then. Her mom felt the need to not, you know, go through with the case and not fully prosecute because she didn't want to bring a lot of trouble to her daughter. She didn't want to put her under a lot of stress. Now in the police report, it's stating that, you know, medical treatment was given to her. She was taken to the hospital and that she was penetrated and that she was raped. They took DNA samples from her, but the DNA samples does not match Charlemagne the God, okay? And so Charlemagne ended up pleading to a lesser charge of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. So that's what he pled to, okay? So he was never charged with rape. He was never charged with anything besides that. And as of yesterday, Charlemagne came out with his lawyers to basically deny all the accusations. And this is what his lawyers we're saying check this out so his lawyers are saying more than 17 years ago Charlemagne was accused of sexual assault he never had sexual relations or any physical contact with the accuser and even provided DNA to prove it at the time of these claims Charlemagne corroborated fully with authorities and after the investigation the charges against him were dropped Charlemagne has spoken about this many times over the years in public, including in his book. While Charlemagne has empathy for all sex assault victims, he cannot take responsibility for a crime that he did not commit.
So that's what his lawyers had to say. And as of today, the state of South Carolina has announced that they will not reopen the case. So basically the girl is shit out of luck. There's no, you know, she can't go back and press charges against him. There's a such thing as double jeopardy. And being that the charges were dropped and he was not found guilty of sexually assaulting her or raping her, there's nothing he can do. Now, one thing I will say about this situation is that I do find the timing funny. As we all know, Charlemagne is getting ready to go mainstream. Supposedly he has a new show coming out on HBO. So I don't know, Star was feeling some type of way. And you know, that's why he put that out there and he wanted to interview this girl. But again, Star also helped to put out the Africa Bombada situation. He's the one who bought a lot of that molestation that Africa Bombada and his crew was doing to a lot of these young boys in Bronx River. Star put that out there. So this is not the first time that Star has helped to put information out there about a big celebrity as far as, you know, sexual assault and things like that. Um, but you know, I do feel where this girl's coming from. I do find her story to be somewhat believable, but I don't know Charlemagne the God is the one who necessarily raped her. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any proof of that. He was found not guilty. He gave a DNA sample. Um, they said that it did not match. But my thing is this, there's a lot of problematic things with this case, okay? For one, Charlemagne the God was 22 years old. Meaning he had no business hanging around a 15-year-old, being friends with a 15-year-old, let alone buying not one but two 15-year-olds drinks, okay? So even if he did not rape her, he put her in a very vulnerable situation. And as an adult, he should have known better. Another thing is this. This is why as parents, it is our job to protect our kids. So my thing is if your daughter was raped, the mother should have tried to prosecute everyone involved to the fullest extent of the law because the mother chose not to, you know, pursue the case and she let everything get dropped. This is why the daughter no longer has closure. So one thing I can say that people need to learn from this situation is that if something happens to your child, prosecute to the fullest extent of the law because you cannot come back 16, 17 years later and say that you want to reopen a case. At that point in time, everything is done and over with. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that's one thing that people need to take away from this case. As far as Charlemagne, I just find it very funny that he's so on this whole R. Kelly thing and, you know, mute R. Kelly. And, you know, he also was talking down to 6 9 you know, with 6 9s involvement with that young girl and that whole situation. This young girl, who is now a woman, stated in that video that Charlemagne the God had sex with her. He's saying that he didn't have sex with her. But again, he put himself in a really problematic situation with a young girl. But it's funny that he was also the same person talking down to Takashi 6 9 as if he's never been down that road. He's also the same one talking mess about R. Kelly as if he himself didn't plead guilty to the, you know, delinquency of a minor. You know, so the whole situation is just crazy, but I'm not going to call him a rapist. What I am going to say is that some of the things that he said in the past have been very problematic, and I can see why people are giving him the side eye. But at the end of the day, there's nothing that can be done, and hopefully he learns from this situation. I mean, I see that now that he's gone mainstream, he's toned all that shit down. When the Breakfast Club first started, he used to be very vulgar and sniffing women's seats and, you know, literally sexually harassing women on the breakfast club okay but now that he wants to go mainstream and now that he has daughters he's supposedly seeing the light like most men go ahead and check out this latest clip of Charlemagne talking to this talk show host check this out I got two daughters and I just I just look at the world and I see everything that's going on like you know all of these sexual allegations in Hollywood and then I think all right so you guys just saw what Charlemagne had to say recently so again at the end of the day he was found not guilty a lot of folks are saying that he should sue the girl I doubt he will go there because at that point if he wants to bring on a lawsuit he's going to have to explain why he was even around this 15 year old girl there's no circumstances that a 22 year old man needs to be hanging around with a bunch of high school freshmen okay so I'm sure he doesn't want all of that coming out he probably does not want to relive his past so I'm sure he's just going to allow this to be water under a bridge. But I do find it very, very suspect that the timing of this old rape case is coming up now that he's trying to go mainstream and get this HBO deal. So I don't know if it's somebody who has something against him, who doesn't want to see him grow any further. 
I'm not sure, but again, this entire situation is just really disturbing all the way around. But I have to hold the parents in this case also somewhat accountable that again, parents, if your children are going through something, you have to be there for them. You have to prosecute to the fullest extent of the law. You have to make sure that your children get justice. Don't just cash out. Don't just take a settlement like so many have done with the whole R. Kelly situation. If you believe your children, you believe that they were assaulted, you need to prosecute to the fullest extent of the law if not you may find yourself in a situation like jessica reed so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Charlemagne the god do you feel like he's guilty of anything do you feel like he did this to this girl or do you feel like you know what the charges were dropped the dna didn't match so he didn't have anything to do with this and then how do you guys feel about you know his old tweets surfacing and him you know doing interviews with andrew schultz talking about putting stuff in girls' drink do you feel like those words make you give him the side eye and that maybe he potentially has something to do with it but you know the case was dropped so that's why he wasn't charged so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs> hey you guys it's your girl t and i hope you really enjoyed that video if you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals definitely feel free to click my description box there's plenty of information in there please stay tuned for the next video talk to y'all later